It's a government, government that is on crack, that they cannot get enough of tax money. The more money they get, the more they spend and the more they want. And they have this insatiable appetite to collect more tax. Um, I've been talking to many business people, small business people that they have paid GST and they have lots of difficulties in, in getting back their, their tax refund, their, their GST refunds. The agriculture department, the productive sector, you know, they are crying out for help, but you know, GST has been on top of them. And in many instances, when they get to, to get their refunds, it takes them six months, sometimes as much as a year, to get their refunds. Now here, the prime minister is coming, trying to find other ways. He knows or he has realized that he can continue to tax fuel more. And um, so now he's trying to be creative and now decided to, to tax data or access to the internet. Maybe a few years ago, the use of the internet was probably something more as a luxury, but no longer today. Everybody needs access to the internet and the private sector, because of the competition, they have been competing, both cable companies and the uh, phone telephone companies, and the prices have been going down and more and more people are having access. Even our children that comes from, from the richest of families to the poorest of families need access. The Prime Minister now has decided that he's going to tax them. So here he's putting another 12.5% tax on everybody, especially poor people, especially students that need access more than ever to the internet. It is a stupid idea, an idea that should not be done. And I hope that he would think about it and, and, and change his mind and remove that tax on, on, these, um, on, on, on Belizean people when it comes to data.